Breaking Now from Ozarks First. You're watching Color 10 News at 6. The brutal heat wave sweeping through the Ozarks might be tough, but it could always be a lot hotter. At least that's the optimism our Colin Lingo is hearing from fireworks stand operators today. Colin's live to explain how some of these smoke bomb salespeople are beating the heat this summer. Colin. Yeah, Heather, it's right about now, this time of day, that people decide maybe it's okay to brave the elements, leave the air conditioning, and make their way to a firework stand like the one we're at right now. But it's every other time during the day that the employees here are just doing their best to stay cool. One of our favorites this year. Teresa Worley has been in the fireworks business now for 10 uh, consecutive summers. Say this Puff the Magic Dragon was amazing. The guys at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Church. Uh, 200 grams to arterial shells. I've been at it for nearly 30. Two different pyrotechnic peddlers. I try not to look at the heat index, honestly. Dealing with the same heat. By now, they've learned ways to survive. I take full advantage of my refrigerator. And they say they've almost gotten used to it. Somebody's been out here very long. We want to make sure that we have access to the church that they can go sit in the air conditioning and, and cool off a little bit. So we kind of watch, make sure we make sure we have plenty of fluids and stuff like that for people here. Right. Every night, I do overnight security every night. Well, almost. So you sleep in this tent? Yes. With the flaps down, everything. Todd Davis still has a little bit of trouble when it comes to his overnight security shift. The other morning, I was just sweating and I couldn't even sleep in my sleeping bag. It was that hot. The good news is the heat hasn't cost them a dime. Diamond shooters. And the hotter parts of the day are typically the slowest as customers are doing their best to stay cool as well. We've been drinking lots of water, staying near the fans. Of course, as the fourth gets closer and closer, Foot traffic will surely keep them busy throughout the rest of the day. Yesterday, when it was 106 or feels like 106, I just tried to ignore it. I sat in front of a fan. <laughs> Now, more than the heat, these firework stand operators say they're a little more concerned about thunderstorms. You see a thunderstorm, one good storm could come through and, and cause a lot of damage to a firework stand like this, just with the moisture and the wind, it could knock over stands. So they say they would take this kind of heat as long as it's dry any day this summer. Reporting live in Springfield, Colin Lingo, Colorton News, Ozarks First.